A lot of you guys are probably like me, where you, when you open the hood of your car, you want to be proud of what's underneath here. And it takes, you know, it takes a while to get all that done. You've got all the parts you need to buy, the changes you need to make, and you know, you're not going to have the perfect engine bay, you know, on day one. For example, with this particular car, when I bought it, it was horrible under here. It, it mismatched parts, things were faded, things were dirty, things were leaking. And over the course of uh, about a year and a half, I slowly transformed it in, into this, just chipping away at it, doing a little bit at a time. And what's great about something like this is that you don't have to go my route. You can go whatever way you want to go. Some people want an all factory look, you know, all stock valve covers, stock air cleaner, all the stock parts, and which is fantastic. Some people want, you know, all matching colors or you know, like, for example, all black or maybe all chrome uh, or polished parts. You know, in my build here, I've got black valve covers with, uh, it's got a polished air cleaner, which I was hoping for a little more of a cast look, but whatever, it's fine for now. But I've got, you know, the cast manifold and you've got the, the aftermarket uh, heads from AFR. And then I've got the cast aluminum water pump and timing cover. And of course the cast look with the uh, alternator, just trying to keep this look kind of flowing, keep it somewhat where it's consistent, you know, as you go through the engine bay. And the next person may want all different stuff, all painted parts or, or something, again, like maybe all chrome or something like that. And what's great is that we get to just chip away and make the engine bay the one we want. And when you open up the hood, you want to stand back and go, ah, that's it, that's what I was trying to get. So as you continue to chase that down and, and make it the engine bay you want, you still got to take a you know, look and, and, and evaluate the parts you have left, what you need to do. In the case of, uh, of my engine bay, I still have a couple parts that I want to do. For example, the, this bracket here for the alternator is just, it's just chipped up and scratched and dirty and I just want to get it cleaned up so it kind of goes with the rest of the engine bay. In fact, also on my, my water pump pulley here too, you can see some, some scratches on there. And I want to go ahead and, and tackle that. Of course, I used to have the, uh, the, the slider down here for the alternator that, you know, where you could pivot this thing back and forth. And I have since put in this, uh, this new alternator adjustment uh, bracket piece, which, you know, by the way, you can get on my website, cruisebuild.com. But I, I had that black piece in there and it too was all chipped up and, and the paint was all bad on it. So if I, was, if I didn't have this alternator adjustment piece in here, I would be taking that off and painting it too. So I want to go ahead and get these pieces out of here and then we'll sand them down and get them painted and cleaned up so that it continues again just to chip away at the various you know, little pieces and stuff in the engine bay that aren't quite done. You know, when I had the engine out, I, I repainted the engine bay and you know, when I was doing the brake stuff in the in the slave master cylinder you're trying to clean everything up over there as you you know as you work on this this engine bay you just you know think about just one little section get that done for example i had moved the starter solenoid from the front to the back back there just so it's out of the way just to kind of clean it up you know i'm trying to kind of go for that kind of that wire tuck look but not complete wire tuck you know i took the, the wire harness and runs along the back along the firewall there, but everything up front, I tried to hide it underneath the lip underneath here. And I've even got it running underneath the, the fender apron to where it comes out back there before it goes into the firewall. Again, just trying to clean it up and get some of the wires, you know, out of, out of the way so you don't, it doesn't look so sloppy and messy. Of course, it doesn't look stock anymore, but that's okay because that's not the look I'm going for. And a lot of you guys, again, you're trying to find the perfect look for you. And this isn't to tell you what to do with your engine bay, but just as you take a look at it, just tackle one little project at a time. And that's why we're going to do the brackets on here and the uh, water pump pulley. It's just one little piece. I can do that this weekend and get it done. And it just continues to get the engine bay just a little bit farther. So let's head and get those, get those parts off the car. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to get this alternator belt off the alternator because I got to pull this pulley off is unfortunately there's one bolt in here that to get this bracket off for the alternator, you got to take the pulley off to get to that bolt. Now, thankfully I'm gonna be doing the, the pulley anyways in terms of cleaning it up and getting it refreshed, but you still gotta take it off anyway. So let's go ahead and get this loosened up and we can get it out of here. And this guy just uses a couple of, of 9 16 wrenches to loosen these up. I need a 5 8 on this guy. just to get that guy loosened up. And now we can finish taking this out at the bottom. Now this is loose and get the belt off. 
then we're gonna take this guy off. And this just takes a half inch wrench to get these four bolts loose. And you know what, pro tip, it probably would have been easier to get these things loose with the belt in place because it holds the pulley in place. Let's finish getting this alternator out of the way. sit down here it's not gonna hurt anything now we gotta get this bracket off and then it's just this last two half inch bolts or half inch socket this is also an opportunity if you notice that you've got some dirt or buildup or something down inside here while everything's out of the way you can just go along and just kind of clean everything up and just make it look nice while you're here. So here's the parts that I wanted to refinish. You know, these one, this one's gonna be pretty simple. We'll just sand her down and good to go. But this guy, one thing I wanna do, I don't really wanna mess with this groove. Um, you know, I guess I could clean it up a little bit, but I really don't, what I don't wanna do is put paint in here uh, because I want the belt to grip onto the metal, not onto the paint. So, but this guy, we go ahead and just scuff this up and get it prepped for some paint. The back side, while it is dirty, you're never gonna see it. So I'm just gonna hit the top side here and then both sides of this bracket. I'm gonna start with something simple like a 100. Um, this might be a little abrasive for, uh, for what we're doing here, but at least it gets the high stuff off, the big stuff, and then maybe follow it up with some 220. And then I might go down to a 400 at the end here just to get everything nice and smooth, but this 220 may be enough to, to get everything that we need. So I think I got a little carried away with uh, sanding this guy down. I didn't need to go this far, but you can see on this one, just getting this, this surface off the top. So really what I was gonna do was I was gonna buy some, you know, anodized, you know, something like maybe some March brackets and pulleys and stuff like that, that brand. And I thought, you know what, for as expensive those are, maybe I could just clean up what I have. And if it turns out like poop, then I'll just buy the new ones. But we'll see how this goes. Again, I think I took a little too much off of this. There's still some, some rust on here. Um, so this one really, to, <laughs> this was less of a how-to and more of just me just cleaning these up. But I probably should get this sandblasted if you're, if you're gonna paint it. And if you're gonna do that, maybe even go as far as getting it powder coated, to make it really nice and fresh. But uh, yeah, so I think for here, I think this is good enough. I just went ahead and wiped them down. I think we should uh, be able to take them outside and uh, throw some paint on here and uh, see how these come out. All right, there's one coat. So this, now that the paint's dried on this, this didn't come out as good as I wanted, but it is better than it was. You know, I still had some surface rust on there that I think is gonna be a problem underneath this paint down the road. But like I said, this was just kind of an attempt to clean some things up before I figure out what I wanna do with the whole bracketry and pulleys and stuff on my engine. Uh, so this this does look better and I'm, and I'm okay with that. And it was almost free, right? A couple minutes of sanding and a, and a you know bottle of spray paint took care of that. And while I was there, 
I went ahead and painted the back, which I didn't, I don't think I showed. And then I just hit up the head of these, these fasteners and the washer, just cleaned them up and got some paint on them. So they just kind of match. You know, I already had that one fastener that was, that's already black. So we're, we're covered there, but so I think from here we can go ahead and uh, get it back on the car. All right, that's the last one. Remember what I was saying earlier about leaving the belt on? It's so much easier just to tighten these fasteners on the front of this water pump pulley with that belt and tension and everything. It just holds everything in place. So, all right, everything is good to go. Uh, we're done, we're installed. Now that we're getting a look at it, again, it's, you know, this is something that I noticed. You guys may not notice it as much, um, you know, particularly because it's my car, but it's just one of those things that as you go around and you start chipping away, and all the stuff, now that bracket's cleaned up and looks better. That pulley's cleaned up and looks better. It's not perfect. I still think I want to do some billet something or other up front, but that's down the road. For now, that was a cheap uh, upgrade or, or just something, again, just to, to jazz up the engine bay as, as I continue to clean things up and organize things and make it look like I was trying. I still have some work to do, little things here and there, but that's just an easy one that I could do, you know, and, and really I spent the most time waiting for the paint to dry, you know, is what took the most time on this whole project, so you guys could easily do this in your shop. So that's it guys, all it was is just, uh, you know, just taking a look at your engine bay, and hopefully this is a little bit of a motivator for, just find one thing, right? Uh, just do one thing at a time. In this case, I chose something that I could paint here in the garage, I didn't have to buy anything. Same thing for you guys, you know, if you know, you're a little tight on money right now, try to find some, maybe it just takes just cleaning off the valve covers or the air cleaner or something like that, or wiping down the walls and the fender aprons or something like that. Is you, if, if it's important to you like it is to me, you know, there's a lot of you guys out there that, that take this a lot more seriously than I do, you know, just chip away at it and that's all it takes. And eventually, you know, you're going to get to where you want to be and that's where I'm at. So, and I'm getting happy with this. This is starting to look like I want. I still got some more stuff to do, but we're getting there. All right, guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out and we'll see you in the next one.